Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to show you how to make the easiest knit stitch beanie ever. It is so easy, it looks so cool, it looks just like knit as you can see. It's just really cool and really easy to do. Okay, so I'm using a weight for yarn. I'm using a eight millimeter hook. So you're using a bigger hook than what your um, weight for yarn calls for, obviously. And that's how you get this wonderful looking stitch, okay? Plus this is done in slip stitches. It takes a little bit, but the, um, the, the outcome is beautiful. And because you're working slip stitches, it has this great elasticity to it, okay? Um, you'll need a stitch marker and a darning needle. You'll also need a poof for the end. If you want one, you can make your own. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm also gonna show you how to do it with a button, okay? So um, I have a button that fits my darning needle. So I have a smaller darning needle and I check this to make sure by putting it through, okay? Again, you don't have to do this. You could make your own. You could also sew this in, but I wanna show you this neat little trick and I've done it on some TikTok videos and I've also done it um, in some videos before, but this is for this one. So I wanna show you how to do it. You'll also need a pair of scissors and of course that darning needle I just showed you. And you might need a stitch marker because we're working with slip stitches. If you're new to crochet, the slips, uh, the stitch markers might be important at the beginning and the end. I'm not gonna use them in the video, but if you have trouble finding your stitches, go ahead and use your stitch markers for the beginning and the end so that you can find your stitches appropriately, okay? Also, I wanna tell you that this is worked back and forth like this. So your project, when you're working on it, is gonna look like this. But when you go to finish it, we're gonna turn it on its side and we're gonna fold it over, okay? And so then we will be able to turn our ends up for the beanie and we will close the top with a weave in and out method and then put our little poof at the top, okay? So let's get started on our tutorial. I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notify me bell below if you haven't already. And please share these videos. They help more than, that helps more than anything and I appreciate it so much. I'm going to start with 50 stitches or a chain of 50, or you can do 15 inches, whichever works better for you. So I'm going to go ahead and chain 50 with my big hook. So now we're gonna start with, into our second chain, we're going to put a slip stitch, second chain from the hook, and we're going to put a slip stitch in each stitch all the way down. You wanna make sure that your stitches are nice and loose because slip stitches can be hard to work into. So just keep going nice and loosely into every stitch a slip stitch. Okay, so then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and now you're going to be working in these stitches right here. Now, it may be hard to see these stitches. You'll see on the side, it looks like you should work into these, that this might be your back loop, but if you turn your work just like this, you can see all the stitches going all the way down, and that's where you need to work into. So I'm gonna go right in here into this stitch right here, not where I chain one and turn, but right here, I'm gonna go right into there, working in the back loop, and I'm going to do a slip stitch. And I'm going to work loosely so that I can get into all of these later, okay? So just continue working into the back loop, doing slip stitches all the way down, making sure to keep your work nice and loose so that when you come in for your next round, you can work into them easily. If you have trouble getting into the stitches, you can use your fingernail, you can use the side of your hook, you can even use a darning needle if you need to, okay? So just keep doing that all the way down and I'll meet you back up in just a second and show you what the next row looks like. Okay, so I've worked all the way down to the end and I wanna show you what this last stitch looks like. 
And this is why sometimes it's important to use stitch markers if you need to. But this last stitch right here looks like this. It's a little bit um, falling apart. Here's this side and here's the other side. But just try to look for it by turning it on its side, go into that last stitch and work a slip stitch. Again, try to keep it as loose as you can. And then you will chain one, turn your work, and again, you're going to make sure that you turn it on its side so you can see all the stitches. Okay, so working not into the chain one, but into the one um, right here, you're gonna go in and work a slip stitch. And you'll go into your next one and work a slip stitch. And you see when I did that, it pulled this tight. Okay, so you could put a stitch marker there if you need to. And again, into my next stitch, work a slip stitch, back loop only, all the way through this whole project. Okay. Just like this. All right, and that's what you do. And as you can see, you can already see the knit stitch um, look pull up there. Of course, this is crochet, it's not knit. This just looks like knit, okay? Which is really fun to do. So just keep doing that back and forth. You wanna keep going until you get approximately 20 inches, 20 to 23 inches, depending upon who you're making this for, okay? And so now, uh, when you get to the end, I want you to leave a huge piece of yarn at the end to sew up your work, okay? And so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna show you how to sew everything up. So I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, so once we get to the end, we're going to tie off by pulling through it with a chain one and then pulling all this I've got that I saved to sew in and then just tighten up, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're gonna sew these sides together. Now, when you do your work, like I said before, this is what it's gonna look like, but you actually want it up and down like this for when you actually finish it, okay? But to sew it together, we'll keep it like this, and I'm actually going to turn it this way so that I can sew better, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're going to line up our work. We're gonna go ahead and put this huge piece of yarn onto a darning needle. And make sure whatever side you like, if you have a side that you like better than the other, make sure that you keep that in mind because we're going to be turning this inside out once we get done sewing it, okay? Okay, so the key when we're sewing this up is, is that we want to make it as seamless as possible. So we're going to be working, we're going to be disregarding this, these stitches right here. So if we're looking at our work like this, we're going to be working in this back loop, okay? And then we're going to be going into this stitch below and we're going to be working into that back loop, okay? And that's what's gonna cause to bring this together so we don't see a um, seam after Words, okay, so in that back loop and in that back loop of the row below this one, okay? So I know this is hard to see. I'm going into this back loop here. And if you turn your work like this, I'm going into this back loop here. You can see all these stitches right here. That's what we're working into, okay? And we're just gonna pull our work through. And again, going through this back loop here and this one here just like this. So I want you to continue doing that all the way down and then we'll meet back up again and we'll turn it inside out and do our little poof for the top. Okay, so we worked that all the way down and now with this, since I told you to take off, bring off so much yarn here, we're going to work the top in as well with the same piece of yarn that we sewed the side on with. And so we're literally going to go in and out of the top of these stitches, weaving in and out just like this. And that's how we're gonna close this up, just by weaving it in and out, okay? I've got this little piece here I still need to work in. And if you want to, you can use a little stitch marker right here. I just use yarn or a hair thing. 
because I always use lose the little plastic ones. I put that right there and then um, I just keep working until I reach my stitch marker, weaving in and out of my work with my darning needle. As close to the top as I can get, but still going through stitches, okay? We want to be close to the top. Okay, so once you work all the way around to your stitch marker, you're going to pull tight and that's gonna cause this to go in. Now remember, we're still gonna turn this inside out. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that tight just like that. And then we're going to just kind of sew the middle up as well so that we know it stays done. Just like this. Now what you can do is we're still going to be um, working in our button and stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and do the three times as a charm working in our ends. So we're gonna go through once, twice, and three times. And then we're going to cut this piece off, okay? And then you can work in any ends if you have any to work in, and then we're gonna turn it inside out, okay? So, but before we turn it inside out, we're gonna go ahead and put our button on. So we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our button right in the middle because that's where that little poof, this little poof, these things that I got from Amazon, they have a little white piece like this here in the middle. Um, it's like a little piece of elastic. And when I pull that in, it's gonna go right on the button, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and sew in our button. So I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. And to sew on this button, I'm gonna come from the side And then I'm going to tie a knot on the end here so it doesn't come loose. This looks very similar to how you sew a button. So I'm gonna do it more than once to make a knot to make sure it doesn't go through the hole. Okay. And so then I'm going to pull that in like that. And then I'm gonna go through the other side like this. We've still got this little piece where our knot was. So just pull that tight. Then we're gonna go through one more time. And this is gonna go around the button now. Just like this. And then in this way. And see, because this is yarn, you normally when you sew a button, it uh, you can go through it several times. But when you're using yarn, you cannot because it's so thick, just like this. And then I'm going to take this piece that had the knot on it, and I'm going to knot it with my working yarn that's on my darning needle right under the button, just like this. Do it a couple times. and then you can work your ends in. I'm not gonna do that on camera, 
because I know you know how to work errands. If there's any reason you don't know how to do anything we're doing, um, I have a, a beginner crochet video below that you can look at, okay? So I'm just gonna turn this inside out now. It's time to do that. We've got our button, we've got everything on, um, and this is what it looks like. And so then you're going to take this poof and your hook, you're going to go right through the middle, just like this. You're gonna go close to the button, as close as you can get with your hook. And you're gonna find that white piece again, and you're gonna pull that through. You might need to go show back into the middle, okay, just like this. And so you've got your elastic. And now you're going to keep your hook on so that you can do this easily. And it's gonna go right over the button, just like this. Okay. And now you've got a poof that stays exactly where it's supposed to. And then you're just going to fold up your ends just like that. And you have got a beautiful knit stitch beanie. Looks so cool. Very easy to make, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask below in the YouTube comments section. I try to get to everyone that I can. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and I have a Gmail. So I'll see you soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.